Hello friends, I am here to introduce AOZ or the Association of Zoologists. AOZ has a vision that aims at becoming a representative prominent platform for zoologists to disseminate knowledge of the contemporary development in the field of animal sciences and zoology. And as you can see, AOZ has just started. We are very young, established on 19th December 2019 as a non-profit organization under the Company Act of 2013 uh, by a small group of enthusiastic zoologists. In other words, the Association of Zoologists aims at strengthening the bonds with allied subjects. It believes in enhancing the capacity of young zoologists. It also advocates for zoology and also encourages collaborative research, learning, innovation in the field of animal sciences as well as the interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary sciences which are affecting not only our country but globally. So our objectives mainly include encouraging collaborative research, gathering and disseminating scientific information in the form of symposia, seminars and conferences, capacity building in the form of workshops at the state and the national level, initiate regular training programs in various fields of zoology, to promote young zoologists through small grants, fellowships and travel assistance, also to provide services to the society as a part of extension activities, to encourage young students to study zoology and to build a career by providing adequate career counseling and also proactively participate for the purpose of conservation of animals and the environment. AOZ is represented by Dr. Paresh Poria from Veraval, Dr. Rajesh Senma from Vakal, Dr. Nehal Shah from Surat, Dr. Devendra Singh Jhala from Ahmedabad, Dr. Archana Gajar from Junagad, Dr. Bharat Singh Goyal from Bhavnagar, Dr. Jigna Desai from Surat, Dr. Nishit Dharaya from Patan and myself Dr. Ranjit Singh Devkar from MS University Baroda. Besides the board of directors, the association of zoologists is also represented by council members that includes Professor P. C. Mankodi, uh, former professor and head of Department of Zoology of the MS University of Baroda. Uh, he is our president, uh, Professor Nayan Jain, former head of the Department of Wi uh, Life Sciences, Gujarat University, Ahmedabad, is the vice president, along with uh, Dr. Arun Dholakya from Surat, Dr. B. B. Radhadiya from Rajkot, Dr. Bharat Singh Goyal from Bhavnagar, and Dr. Chirag Acharya from Pilvai Science College. The unique feature of the Association of Zoologists is the inclusion of a diverse variety of subjects which come under the common umbrella starting with professor nj chinoy memorial lecture to the program that was done in aribas for celebration of the coral diversity and the avifaunal diversity of gujarat celebrating the world wetland day the world oceans day the world nature conservation day and the list is endless. Lots of competitions are also organized for the students to encourage their participation and to train them and teach them about various facets of zoology. Hands-on training program and workshops are greatly emphasized in AOZ for capacity building and training the students, researchers, and young scientists in not only the laboratory based techniques but also in the field biology based techniques such as field ecology and wildlife biology. AOZ performs a lot of online activities as well, the most recent being the success stories of zoology alumni, people who have distinguished themselves in various fields of biological sciences but at the same time have been a zoology alumni and have studied zoology, such people are interviewed to narrate their experiences as a zoology student and their progression into a professional. This actually is very important for the students to shape up their career as a zoologist. Also there are 
AOZ lecture series which invites distinguished scientists, professors to talk about their research work. AOZ has a strong presence on the social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram as well as YouTube. You can access freely to the content available on these platforms. Presently AOZ has 60 members and our head office is based at the Department of Life Sciences, Gujarat University, Ahmedabad. You can reach us at zoologistassociation2020 at gmail.com. So at the Association of Zoologists, you will come across a variety of members with vast experiences in the field of biological sciences, especially zoology. These people are researchers, professors of international repute. So young students, faculties, scientists, researchers, as well as the mid-career scientists will get an opportunity to share a common platform. Please become a member. The bank details are provided herein. You can also get membership details from any of the office bearers of AOZ. We are open for donations. So please donate generously for a noble cause and become a member and a part of the AOZ family. Thank you. A very good evening to one and all. A very warm welcome to all our viewers, listeners, all the uh, zoology fraternity members uh, all around India and Gujarat. Today is a very special day for AOZ as it's the fourth foundation day of this organization working immensely and dedicatedly uh, for the uh, you know, spread and you know, uh, development of zoology all around India and also looking abroad. So uh, friends, uh, let me uh, start today's uh, program with uh, uh, calling our president, Dr. P.C. Mangodi, sir, who would give our uh, no, uh, message for this year's uh, Foundation Day. And thereafter, we will also release the life membership uh, certificates for our all the life members. This, there is a virtual e-certificate release ceremony today. Uh, I'm, I know that many of you are also waiting for day two introduction to bibliometrics uh, lecture. So we will stu soon start that lecture as well. So before we switch over to the lecture, uh, let me uh, know, uh, bring on floor our president of AOZ uh, Association. Now I can see our vice president, Dr. N.K. Jain, sir, commenting in the chat box. Sir, a warm welcome and warm regards from the uh, whole of the AOZ family. And thank you for your blessings and uh, a warm guidance and wishes on the floor from the comment box. Thank you so much, sir. So let me invite everybody, uh, Dr. P.C. Mankodi, sir, the president of AOZ Association of Zoologists Foundation. Good evening, sir. Very good evening. Uh, friends, uh, P.C. Mankodi, sir, is a retired head and professor at Department of Zoology, MS University, Vadodara. He has an immense uh, knowledge and experience in the field of fisheries, as, uh, particularly uh, you know, working on the ocean uh, organisms and fisheries. So, sir, we are waiting for you to tell us and give us the message uh, what are we supposed to look forward in the days to come from this organization? The floor is open for you, sir. Thank you very much, Dr. Nehal. Uh, as already uh, you have seen our video mentioning about the activity of the AOZ, uh, Dr. Devkar has explained excellently. Uh, this is what we are doing. Basically, I want to uh, tell you that I'm not repeating the things, but uh, yes, very actively we are working in the field of uh, academics, research, and also gradually extension. Our members are there who are actively participating, and as well as our all the activities are open on our 
media platforms also so that uh, everybody can approach everybody can see that everybody can take the advantage of uh, uh, having association with aoz but it is not uh, uh, only the things the what should be there is you have to become member so uh, already membership uh, information is available today also it is available on all our platform it is available and also i would say that you can approach any one of us and on other side if i say then my office bearers are uh, strongly requested to activate furthermore because uh, we we actually in, initially started in a uh, time when it was a covid phase and even though covid was there still we are able to interact uh, extensively uh, through our you know, different media platform and finally we have been able to establish uh, this particular uh, organization and uh, that is today we are in a fourth year so like uh, Uh, school children they complete their home activity and jumps into nursery and pre nursery section we are in nursery and pre nursery section and we are very soon going to enter into primary section as far as academic is concerned we should talk about the education in this manner so once we enter into primary let us have a very big group so that we can do very good things few things i would like to tell here number one is nep is there in force we are going to schedule some talk on nep also but when yes. uh, we have a uh, different type of course now so what i would request every one of you is to share your syllabus on our platform or rather interact in such a way that we get to know that what type of syllabus you are going to teach and there are people who are having uh, interest in writing books so i would certainly encourage them to write some books there are a lot of platforms available to make the ebooks so make the ebooks and make it available to students so that the new era new education system and new system of academics will be there whatever uh, you know videos and all that is to be prepared we'll try to prepare that and put it on our platform also so this is what i would encourage everyone any teacher who is there all the teachers are there, rather so i'm encouraging all the teachers to do this and uh, furthermore i would like to see that uh, more number of students joins when we have a more number of students there then <clears throat> we are more encouraged to do good things we are going to have similar type of activity on what zoology can give you number one we are going to have good lectures in line already scheduled uh, dr nehal is taking lot of pain for these and managing the things we are this time this year i would be emphasizing more on research scholars to come and deliver some good lectures so we are starting with uh, one of such lectures today and uh, furthermore Uh, on our media platform you have a right to give us suggestions so that we go on a right track so with this i would uh, congratulate all my uh, fellow members of this association and my office bearers and especially my directors because they took a lot of pain in establishing this organization which is now doing very good work thank you thank you so much sir for your uh, no warm uh, wishes and blessings and also the vision how it should be taken forward so friends uh, as sir has told you uh, we are uh, coming up with a lot of programs online as well as offline now soon you will uh, listen uh, from the platforms that there is going to be a symposium coming up somewhere in january or february at the same time uh, we are uh, going to plan some online uh, workshops and talks related to the latest technological changes like how to use artificial intelligence in your science of animal science so stay tuned with us if you become members you can avail lot of discounts for being a part of
of the field trips, the workshops, and the practicals that we usually conduct at different laboratories and in the wildlife. So uh, we uh, humbly request that uh, do become the members uh, and those members who are willing to be a part of the online or offline lecture series, do connect with us and we would give you the platform to have your say uh, from AOZ uh, anytime, anywhere, whenever you feel like. So friends, as Sir said, we started in COVID, uh, but uh, AOZ has been friends to many and many has always been um, you know, liking and encouraging us. And we are really loved, which we can see from the social media accounts that you all are following. Let me tell everybody today uh, we have hit 300 subscribers on YouTube. The number filled today itself, we are uh, no, on the day of foundation, uh, 300 now, as in YouTube sub subscribers. We already have more than 3,000 followers on Facebook account. We have more than 450 plus followers on Instagram account. This shows that you really love the organization, the way it's working, and we are really happy to provide all the things which is in our capacity to you for your growth in your career, your profession, and uh, to bring this animal science forward. So on that note, sir, with your kind permission, I would like to release the e-certificates today. And uh, we would like to do the virtual celebration of life membership of those people who have been a part of AOZ till date. So should I uh, start the yes, release yes. of e-certificates, sir? Yes, please Thank go you, ahead. Sir. Thank you, sir. So friends, uh, this is uh, the first ceremony wherein we are releasing the e-certificates of all our life members. They would be soon getting the certificates through their email IDs as they have filled up the forms. So uh, let us let me do the ceremonial aspect today. So once again, a very hearty congratulations to all those uh, zoologists who have become the part of AOZ Foundation by being the life members. We encourage the same to all those who are still waiting. The annual members, they are highly requested to change over to life membership and avail the benefits 
of this organization and those who have yet not been the members uh, please uh, do uh, check all the social media accounts they have the links to be the life members there is a, a trailing a link available url link available on all our social media accounts including the youtube if you will check it you will get the form link and you can easily become the member of this organization and uh, we welcome you to be a part of our family so on that note thank you so much sir for your presence uh, for today's presidential message and uh, let's continue with our day 2 uh, knowledge retreat program further so uh, taking that further uh, let me introduce our guest as well so those who have yet not uh, listened to our day 1 program you still have a chance to go and check our youtube channel and you will find dr mayur sahani's talk uh, we are celebrating foundation day by 3 days online knowledge retreat and today is day 2 uh, wherein our phd scholar ajay baldania is going to share his uh, talk on introduction to bibliometric so uh, stay with us today and also uh, tomorrow uh, you need to be with us at the same time on the same channel and you will be able able to gain more information on nep 2020 through a very experienced and eminent professor pradeep shrivastava sir all the way joining from bhopal with us tomorrow so on that note uh, friends uh, let me welcome uh, ajay baldania and uh, no let's have uh, his talk further so i'll uh, welcome ajay Uh, first, and then let you know uh, what exactly he's working on right now. Ajay, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, yeah. So, a warm welcome to you for our uh, today's uh, topic. And uh, friends, uh, Ajay is the is the one who is uh, you no know, basically working on diversity of. Uh, diversity and fisheries of class elasmo brankii from maritime zone of gujarat state that is his phd uh, ongoing phd topic and uh, uh, he is a research scholar uh, representing department of zoology again uh, ms university baroda so he is uh, uh, a young scientist who has uh, publications and has been attending different conferences related to this Uh, elasmo brankii fisheries so uh, ajay the floor is all open to you to continue your talk and uh, good wishes from all of us that uh, we are really waiting uh, to have a note about what exactly this bibliometrics is going to help us in research so uh, let me share your slides and then maybe you can uh, continue with that okay. yeah please go ahead okay is it visible everyone yeah yeah it's visible okay good evening everyone my name is ajay baldania a phd research scholar from the dr pc mongkodi's lab uh, department of geology the maharaja sayajira university of baroda so today i am here to present my talk on uh, bibliometric analysis and i am glad that i got this opportunity to deliver my first ever talk Uh, so i would like to take a prior apology if uh, any mistake is committed by me uh, so with due respect i start my presentation with due permission yeah so, and just a minute we'll ajay so before before you start uh, a humble request to everybody please uh, do ask questions if you have any through youtube uh, no chat box and i would pick those up for ajay and maybe you can inquire more about it so we would like to hear from our audience if there are any questions you are most welcome ajay please continue okay so starting from the general introduction what is bibliometrics uh bibliometrics in it make for the two words may uh, the biblio means the document collection means the book of collection uh, in terms of uh, publication collection it include the journal journals articles uh, newsletters uh, review papers and all that and metrics means measurement so uh, basically bibliometrics is a study a statistical analysis of the any uh, written publication such as book or articles 
so based on the analysis we 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 concluded that a uh, research uh, on a specific research area and evaluate uh, in terms of the what uh, topic is trending and what are the authors authors who have uh, exponentially work on the specific field originally uh, this uh, method is uh, coming from the library and information science but uh, day by day there is uh, use in the uh, various allied area also so it uh, more significance in for the essential for the measuring research impact and uh, trends of that uh, particular uh, research field uh, the cent central idea of this bibliometric is to use the quantitative method of based on the uh, statistical analysis and study at the study the study and characterizes of the uh, uh, collected uh, literature in order to we uh, in order to describe the research output with the various indicators and distribution pattern like a uh, 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 publications year and uh, publications period uh, like that and use in evaluating scholarly scientific performance uh, there are basic three step involved in a bibliometric analysis the first one is the data collection and the second one is the data cleaning and pre processing in which uh, you have to to remove all the duplicates articles and standardize the author names and other various parameters and then the last uh, steps is the analysis and visualization uh, with the help of uh, various softwares so for first and most important thing is the data source uh, from where you can uh, retrieve your, your publication generally almost all the scientists were use the scopus as a database you can use a web of science google scholar as well as pubmed and dimensions also this is the most important because uh, the scopus uh, database have uh, uh, more uh, quality and quantitative data set uh, compared to other data sources so generally we use the scopus as a data source so these are the graphical representation of a methodology first we have to define the research objective uh, for example jo uh, bhi uh, student hai jisko research start karna hai to wo kaise us area ko define karega usko kaun se area mein jana hai kaun sa object usko define karna hai to uske liye this method is most useful for the base, based on their uh, uh, interest uh, of the area research area uh, research area they select the relevant database if you are uh, select the their uh, like study which are uh, not uh, uh, popularly known so you have used the google scholar and web of science database as well otherwise you can uh, use the scopus database this is good for the analysis and based on the selection of the database you have to insert the keywords keywords means uh, uh, that uh, uh, keywords uh, regarding their specific research area and then you have to init initiate the final search uh, once you got the publication data set uh, so scopus and all other data set also have their uh, own algorithm to analyze their uh, results so based on that you can also interpret your data set also in which to identify the research theme exam examine the citation pattern explore the author productivity and based on the all the research you can conclude your uh, research trend and publication pattern and uh, network connectivity all that uh, after that the data is a uh, good uh, showing the good values in the, the uh, scopus data the, uh, algorithm then you can uh further proceed for the uh, further analysis uh, which uh, with the help of uh, other uh, analysis uh, statistical analysis tool like uh, r studio uh, vs or uh, giphy uh, sidestep all that before you proceed the final analysis you have to uh, sorted your data set uh, for and remove all duplicate uh, publications assess the publication quality in term of the all the uh, information is available or not an applied inclusion exclusion criteria in which uh, you have to uh, give uh, you have to apply the time period 
you have to apply the which region uh, we, you have to select and uh, we, uh, area of uh, publications journals we all are included in exclusion and in inclusion criteria after that the proceed for the final calculation in which you have calculated the distribution pattern uh, network analysis keyword analysis all this and finally you uh, finally based on the final result you analyze the trends of the research based on the uh, entities or uh, the based on based on the what entities that have counted for the analysis of bibliometric data in a document and you can uh, count uh, you can uh, make a distribution and a distribution uh, pattern from the author's production uh, institution production and then uh, uh, citation networks uh, reference and edge of referencing uh, reference spectroscopy spectroscopy all these are consider as a document entities in web entities from that you have to make a network analysis like a interrelationship between the uh, two variables like source and citation uh, author and co-author author and uh, 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 organization relationship etc uh, you can the outlink inlink selfing or, or it all are the part of network analysis generally uh, r studio and vs4 are used for the bibliometric analysis uh, you can also use other give uh, other uh, software like giphy sitespec etc in r studio you have uh, r studio gives you the distribution pattern and all the uh, performance analysis uh, of the research trend uh, in uh, the R studio gives the data in a bar chart form pie chart form uh, a line chart form and a shanky diagram uh, these are the some sample diagram which i have uh, analyzed uh, for my study uh, the first diagram uh, first figure is show the annual production of the article so based on this uh, figure you can uh, analyze that the, uh, during the 1940 to 2000 in this time period the research growth is a uh, very long after the 2000 2010 it gradually increased so and the other one is a uh, author production over time the note shows the the number of publication which are specifically uh, published in a specific year and the third one is the most relevant author like uh, you have to if you want to calculate the what are what mo most uh, relevant author for my field specific field or the most relevant source like what uh, what are the journals which are large on large scale they publish the my specific research uh, publication so you can conclude ba concluded based on this uh, graph and define your uh, research gap uh, the f this first one is a Schenke diagram. You can also make an interrelationship between the three objects, uh, like a source, a product, a source, a source citation, and author, author, um, author, and in institute and keywords. Or you can uh, negotiate in your own way, whatever the way you want. And uh, these are the uh, keyword analysis. The keyword analysis is uh, used for uh, generally used for identifying the, what are the area that have been exploited in a spe specific research field. Uh, the size of the word size of the word shows that uh, how the study has been and what are the studies has been done on the which uh, specific topic. And the third one is the country specific scientific production. So it shows the which country produced the how much how, how many numbers of publications and also we can make a collaboration map. So based on the collaboration map, we, we get the idea the, about the research and uh, what are their uh, distribution uh, around the world. So in viewers viewer, you can make a, a network analysis graph. Uh, with uh, shows the interrelationship between the uh, different different variables uh, like uh, if you want to make a uh, author and co-author relationship then uh, author and uh, institute and co-author relationship citation and author relationship so these all these uh, network analysis graph has been uh, 
carried out in the viewer server so they uh, give it uh, the software give it in a cluster form so you can easily identify all your problem so applications of the bibliometric analysis uh, such as research evaluation identifying research trends and collaboration and analysis in which you assess the journal you assess, uh, identify the research gap of your particular area you can also uh, uh, take a uh, uh, information regarding the funding agencies all that and this is and uh, this is more easily and uh, your data is uh, easily obtained from the any data set and is freely available the so software is also freely available and also you can make a research publication from uh, this bibliometric analysis and you can publish in a good uh, impact factor journal so it is a simple but uh, one of the best method to evaluating your research gap identifying your specific and uh, object so it is simple but it's the best method for the analysis uh, compared to your traditional review literatures Uh, hope you my present a short presentation is uh, informative for you and i am thank you very much ma'am association of zoology and dr pc mankodi for giving me this opportunity thank you so much uh, ajay uh, for this wonderful information and um, i have few questions uh, till the audience inquires what they want to know uh, just for sake of those graduate students who might be new to bibliometrix a few very basic questions i want you to answer uh, firstly uh, do we need to buy the software for bibliometrix or no no ma'am it's all the software are freely available so we okay. don't need to buy anything so can you name few such softwares which they can easily download and use yes ma'am r studio uh, in which you can uh, install the bibliosci package um, uh, va source and then giphy uh, site space and uh, jo bhi data set hai uska bhi ek own uh, algorithm rehta hai to aap wo bhi use kar sakte ho okay and uh, uh, as you mentioned that a lot of statistical analysis can be done along yes, with this so if a student does not have a basic background of statistics or uh, what minimal statistics uh, information they should be aware about so that they can use this particular so, tool for that we don't um, uh, the the software gives the in a very simple way it is a graph jo matlab dikh rahe hai wahi thoda aisa dikh raha hai warna jo information jo data sheet bhi milti hai wo formal way mein hoti hai aur ekdam simplify karke dete hai to uske liye koi statistics matlab aana zaruri utna nahi hai aur general okay. information hai to koi bhi basic student bhi samajh sakta hai to koi issue nahi hai okay so friends uh, you can use this tools very easily this will help you organize your references in a much more easier way and uh, ajay one more uh, information we are many a times asked to list the you no know, bibliography in alphabetical orders and then uh, depending on because sometimes the research also has lot of different sub topics so does it help to organize your references no ma'am it uh, doesn't help in organize the reference in bibliography for that uh, for the different software like mendeley and endnote or use you can also okay. use from okay. the uh, so, uh, word in which bibliography yeah so this would be uh, for getting the literature review part done easily yes yes yeah yes, yes. so yeah for so the this specifically is... literature review okay and uh, can you just take a very simple example of some research problem and explain how they can utilize this tool for that particular problem so just an by an example you know you okay. have shown very beautiful yes, yes. slides but just a small example so that more clarity comes okay so for bsc msc student or jo recent matlab phd jisko join karna hai aur starting matlab kiya hai तो उसके लिए बेसिकली क्या होता है कि उसके लिए आ, कौन सा पेपर पढ़े किस वे में पढ़े कितने कितने पढ़े जिसको थोड़ा बहुत जो रिसर्च इंटर्नशिप किया है उसको थोड़ा बहुत आइडिया रह गया लेकिन जो एमएससी वाले जो डेजर्टेशन स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं 
तो उसके लिए उसको पहले तो उसका कौन सा एरिया में जाना है रिसर्च टॉपिक उसको डिसाइड करना है तो कैसे करना है तो वो क्या करेगा गूगल पे जाए गूगल गूगल सर्च में एंड देन एंटर द कीवर्ड्स एंड सर्च एंड डाउनलोड फॉर टॉप टू थ्री पेपर्स एंड रीड इट देन अगेन अगर वो हेल्प नहीं किया वो पेपर तो फिर वापिस उसको वही प्रोसेस रिपीट करनी है तो इसमें क्या है बिब्लियोमेट्रिक्स में अगर आपको कोई मान लो एक कोई कैंसर में जाना है ठीक है तो आप क्या कर सकते हो कि कोई एक डेटा बेस लो मान लो वेब ऑफ साइन या तो स्कोपस डेटा बेस है तो डायरेक्टली यू कैन सर्च ऑन गूगल द स्कोपस डेटा बेस एंड यू इंसर्ट द रिलेटेड कैंसर रिलेटेड कीवर्ड्स तो स्कोपस डेटा बेस है पूरी आपको जो इन्फॉर्मेशन जितने भी पब्लिकेशन है वर्ल्ड वाइड तो वो आपको दे देगा और आप उसमें से सेपरेट कर सकते हो बिब्लीमेट्रिक एनालिसिस के थ्रू अगर आपको इंडिया का अकाउंट करना है वर्ल्ड का एनालिसिस करना है और ये भी आप कर सकते हो कि कौन सा ऑथर है जो इंडिया में ज्यादा काम करता है वर्ल्ड में ज्यादा काम करता है कौन सा पेपर है जो ज्यादा साइटेड है जो ऑथर है उसका कितना पब्लिकेशन है जनरली हमको जानना है ये ऑथर है और इसके कितने पब्लिकेशन है तो क्या करते हैं गूगल स्कॉलर पर जाते हैं उसकी प्रोफाइल खोलते हैं फिर देखते हैं या तो ईयर बाई ईयर काउंट करते हैं लेकिन इसमें एक सिंपल क्लिक से आपको पूरे ऑथर की इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल जाएगी उसके कितने रिसर्च पेपर है कितने साइटेशन है कौन से ईयर में उसका पहला पेपर था और अभी तक का उसका ट्रेंड है और क्या है उसका कोलेबरेटर कौन है किस कंट्री के साथ कोलेबरेशन कर रहा है वो आपको एक सिंपल फॉर्म में विद इन वन टू टू मिनट्स आपको मिल जाएगा सब अगर आप टॉपिक की सर्चिंग में है तो मतलब आपको पूरा जो इन्फॉर्मेशन वो मिल जाएगा कि जो मैं टॉपिक सोच रहा हूँ डिजिटेशन करना है या तो पी करना है तो उसका कितना वर्क हुआ है उसके अंदर क्या गैप है कब से स्टार्ट हुआ है जो प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन है वो क्या है वो सब उसके अंदर आ जाती है और दूसरी मेन थी जो पीएडी स्कॉलर है उसके लिए जो फंडिंग का कुछ अरेंजमेंट करना है तो उसमें भी ये पता चल सकता है कि एनालिसिस के थ्रू कि मतलब कौन सी एजेंसी किस काम को कैसे कैसे फंड दिया है तो उसके बेसिस पे भी हम जो एजेंसीज है उसको अप्रोच कर सकते हैं कभी क्या होता है कि मतलब कोलोब्रेशन के लिए हम बाहर कोई साइंटिस्ट वगैरह को उसको कॉन्टेक्ट में रहते हैं वो करते हैं ठीक है लेकिन ये एनालिसिस के थ्रू ऐसे भी पता चलता है कि इस कोलोबरेटर है उसका इंडिया में और कोई है कि नहीं जो हमारी पहचान में हो तो मतलब डायरेक्टली उसको अप्रोच करना इससे अच्छा हम थोड़ा हमारे जो पहचान वाले उसके थ्रू अप्रोच करें तो वो थोड़ा बेटर रहेगा तो उसके लिए भी ये चीज बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है लिटरेचर रिव्यू रियली अ वंडरफुल टूल फ्रेंड्स एंड यू आर ऑल रियली ब्लेस्ड टू हैव सच टेक्नोलॉजिकल टूल्स मेक बेस्ट यूज ऑफ देम बिकॉज आई नो देर मस्ट बी मेनी प्रोफेसर हु मस्ट हैव गॉन टू डिफरेंट सिटीज एंड रिफर टू डिफरेंट लाइब्रेरीज जस्ट टू कलेक्ट द रिसर्च पेपर्स फ्रॉम द जर्नल or from the different kinds of books because uh, during the past years such kind of collective information in the form of e format was not available so uh, all the students you really have a very good uh, you know uh, avenue to do lot of research study and make yourself more informative and knowledgeable by using this bibliometrix uh, try your hands on to this thing if you were there with us in yesterday's talk the 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 say by the nobel laureate was read read and read so if you really want to read something useful bibliometrix is going to help you you sort out the material for you and you can make best use out of it now such a nice uh, wonderful uh, thought ajay that you have come up with this uh, new technological aspect for the young minds i'm sure many of these people would be utilizing it and friends this is how uh, aoz association of zoologist works we want to get you connected to the latest uh, as much as possible so that uh, it becomes easy for you to access what's happening in and around your world in terms of soft skills hands on skills as well as uh, knowledge and information so i hope you all must have enjoyed our today's session with ajay and um, all the life members uh, a hearty congratulations once again uh, your e certificates were prepared uh, with a, a very hard work uh, no uh, been input by dr paresh poria from uh, junagadh and uh, along with him dr devendra jhala from amdavad they are the key people behind your certificates that you will be receiving soon in your email accounts and also for today's video because um, they are the ones who are working in the background 
uh, for our association or uh, technical aspects and making this a uh, huge list of life members so we heartily thank um, dr paresh poria and devendra jhala sir for uh, doing this efforts to bring up the e certificates today so that uh, that could have been published you know in this particular format so friends will once again come up with uh, this kind of talk tomorrow at same time 7 pm uh, talking about nep 2020 keep your question list ready be it a student be it a professor be it a uh, you know a research scholar or every aspect is changing in nep and has been implemented in a wider way let's come and discuss uh, tomorrow what exactly nep is going to provide us what is better than before that nep has been implemented so well so uh, do come uh, with your questions and we would be discussing it for no further so once again thank you uh, ajay thank you pc mangodi sir and all the zoology fraternity members who have joined for today's program and uh, hope you will uh, stay with us connected as always keep us encouraged and shower your love blessings and best wishes on the organization who wants to work only and only for zoology on that note good night everybody thank you everybody